Okay, so this video is going to be what you need to do after your head has been scanned in S-Connect and you're ready to import it into Mesh Mixer. Somewhere on your desktop or in your program files, you're going to have a file called Mesh Mixer or a program called Mesh Mixer. Mine is right here. I'm going to open it up. Uh, and I'm going to go and import my head, which is right here. So I'll take that and I'm going to drag it in. For some reason, it doesn't let you drag it into import or open or any of those. you got to drag it into the gray space here. So click that open. You'll see there's a processing bar here. It's kind of covered up. Um, you'll see it when yours is not split screen like mine is. One of the big issues that I have going on with my head is there's a big cavity in the top of it where the connect didn't go. Now hopefully we scan yours correctly. Um, we get out there and we get to do it with the uh, connect and over the top of your head. But there's no guarantee we'll be able to do that. Or maybe there'll be another spot that has a hole or a depression in it like this. So we're going to talk about how to deal with this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to select. And I'm going to leave the brush tool option. And I'm going to try to select all of the stuff inside of my head. Trying to do the best I can not to select things that are like, you know, my hair. Then I'm going to hit delete. And so if I look from the top, everything looks eh, good enough, I guess. Then I'm going to go to edit. And I'm going to go to make solid. It should fill all that back in. So it did. But it leaves this kind of like scarred, scabby kind of whatever material. So we're going to go through and we're going to sculpt that now. So if I go to Mesh Mixer, not Mesh Mixer, if I go to Sculpt and I go to Brushes, uh, I'm going to start. I must have hit Undo to get rid of that. So let's uh, redo that. Not sure what we did there. Make Solid. Let's go Edit, Make Solid. Okay. Oh, I didn't hit Accept is what I didn't do. Hit Accept. It'll take it. Now go back to Sculpt. Um, so when you go to Sculpt, you can choose different brush styles, and you'll have to play with these to see what the best two are. I prefer, or the best ones are, I prefer Flatten, and I prefer Inflate. Uh, there are some other ones that can be helpful. You can change the size of your brush, which, see, I have a big brush here, but if I go to Size, I can get it down to a small brush uh, to make it uh, more or less accurate. I, I prefer kind of a, a medium size here. You can change some of these settings, too, um, and play with them to see what they do. Um, they have different options. So right now I'm on the brush for flatten and I'm just going to flatten all this out and see if I can kind of meld it together. Look, it's not going to be perfect. And remember when you 3D print it, it's not going to be perfect. You know, there's going to be a lot of detail lost, you know, because it's plastic and the way that it's laid down or whatever. So I'm just going to try to take these ridges and, 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 and flatten them out best I can. You know, now I got look a little bit of a flat top going on. So I'll go into the brush and I'll go to inflate. Might make it a little bit bigger. Um, and just, so very gently, so I'm going to undo that because I didn't like the way the first one went. But just very gently try to pull some of this up a little, and then I'll go back and flatten it again after. Just so it looks a little rounder, a little more natural. So you don't want to click in the same place. I'm just kind of like single clicking and trying not to get too aggressive really anywhere. Which, to be honest with you, that actually might even look better than just doing anything. That looks like hair to me. So and we're going to go leave with that. So there's your hair. And there are lots of different things you can do to clean up. Uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to cut our neck and our shoulders off since we're not going to print those. So I'm going to go through here and I'm going to grab uh, select. And now it automatically selects brush, but we're going to change that to lasso. So my hope is that you'll see this the way we want it to go. I'm going to grab my lasso and I'm going to chunk something off quickly here so that you can get an idea. This is a rough cut. Now if you notice, it selects my head instead of my shoulders. I really have no idea why it does that. So we're going to go and we're going to clear selection. We're going to do it again. And it's kind of weird. It feels like it should be going the other way. But I'm going to cut this this way. Drag that through. Do that. Now that'll do the same thing it did a second ago. I have no idea why. Try it one more time. Okay, we'll try going down again. just really wants to select my head. I don't know. Well, something else you can do that worked for me earlier, which is not really how I would prefer to do it. But as we went with the brush, and we took some of the material away from my shoulders, so I'm going to leave the brush on for a minute. I'm just going to select some pieces here. And you to be really careful not to select the wrong stuff. Uh, and this sort of worked for us earlier, so hopefully this will work for you. So I'm just going to remove some of it partially here. 
and then I'm going to try to lasso it in again. So let's go to select, lasso, come through here, through there, there we go. No idea why that works, but we did that tricking it earlier. So I'm going to go through now and I'm going to shave the rest of this off, which hopefully that goes well. So we're going to come through here, right at the back of my hairline. I'm going to go up under my chin and select and then delete that out. So that's what I want my head to look like. When I'm done with that, I'm going to go to Make Solid. So edit, Make Solid. That'll fill in the hole in the bottom. The next thing we want to do is if, if again, if you want, oh, I want to uh, clean this bottom up too. So let's hit Accept and let's go to um, Brush. No, sorry, we're on Sculpt. And make sure we're on flatten, and let's just smooth this out without getting crazy like it already looks like I am. Undo that. Go back to sculpt. Back to flatten. And I'll try to get it where you can kind of see what it's doing. Also, don't hold your mouse down for too long because you can't undo. If you, you know, if you undo it, you'll undo like tons, and you really only want to do little bits at a time. All right, so I think. You get the idea. You can keep playing with this to make this better and better, to make it smoother and smoother. Do not obsess about it. Don't try to get too crazy. Like, see how I kind of cut in here, which is really, whoops, which is really not what we want to do. Okay. So there's that. So if you want to go through and add some detail, I'm going to give you some quick ideas for how to do that. Um, I am going to go, and I'm going to go to, I guess, flatten. Um, and we're going to change the size of my brush dramatically here. So I'm going to come through here, and so maybe it'll 3D print a little bit better if I go through and I kind of just, I can go smaller with that still. Trace my lips in a little bit. Which, eh, came out all right. Let's see if there's something that'll let me remove a little better. Okay, so I think that's undoing all of that. Bottom still looks good. So let's go to Sculpt, uh, Brushes, and oops, brushes and let's see. Let's try bubble smooth. There we go. You can see it's kind of drawing a line. So it'll help give it a little additional definition. So I'll make this just a little bit bigger. Go through again. I don't know. That doesn't really look great, but. Okay, so uh, continuing on here, we want to go through and, and try to uh, add some definition to some of these more identifiable characteristics of yourself. Stuff that scanned well, like it looks like me, but could I do things to make it print a little bit better to be a little more like identifiable? So I've been using the shrink smooth one, um, and you can go through and keep changing some of the prior, some of the details of it. So strength is at a hundred, make the size a little bigger. I'm not sure what laziness does, but depth making it like cut a little more. Let's see if I go down and then if it cuts differently. That seems to a little. So like I'm just kind of tracing out my eyes a little bit. So maybe they'll print a little better. Which they may look a little weird on Mesh Mixer, but I think they'll look better when you print them. Again, like from a distance, it definitely changes the way it looks. So I don't know if that eye looks too great, but you know, I went through and added a little bit of definition to my nostrils, just so you can kind of see a little bit better. So just the ability to go through and tweak up some of these like more identifiable things. So, um, so that's great. So when you're done with that, you want to go through and you definitely want to save this. So we're gonna save as, and I'm gonna save mine to my bobblehead folder. So let's call this uh, Duffhead, I guess. Dot head. Dot STL. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to hit no because that already exists. So let's name this. Um, it shouldn't be STL anyway right now. It should be it should be dot mix. I'm not sure why that's dot STL. I think it suggested that because we already had one called that. So let's just say Duffhead. Save. And now it's saved as a, mix, a mesh mixer file. And then we're going to go to File and go to Export. And we're going to choose a file format. So we're going to choose uh, the first STL one here, this ASCII. Um, and we're going to give that a name. So we're going to call it Duffhead again. It may or may not let me do this because I already have a Duffhead.stl in here. So we'll just take the file extension off, see what it does with it. Click save, and no, I don't want to. So we'll call this 
stuffhead.export. Click save. And as soon as this is done, I'm going to come back in and we're going to show you what to do with a girl's head. So. Okay, so now we're looking at my daughter's head. This is Abby. Um, you can see hers has got a lot more detail, and I don't know exactly why that is. Probably because I did the scanning and I was able to go back after the fact and really work in some details with the S Connect and the Connect. Um, the big difference with the girls and the guys is that we've got this ponytail hanging off the back here. We have to do something to separate it from her shoulders. So the first thing we're going to do is we'll try the lasso just like last time. So let's go to lasso. We'll come through, and I'm going to go through with a rough cut and see if I can get out or how much I can get out of all this. And let's see, does it select? It did select the right place. That's helpful. So uh, let's go and make this solid now. Let's see what it does with it. So it's now making her solid. And we'll see what needs to be cut out after that. So like for example, let's start to work. Let's just work the neck area here. We'll cut this piece out. So let's go hit accept. Um, we'll go to uh, select again. Let's go to lasso. And then let's just come up and grab up in here. See what that does. Select the right spot. That's good. So now while we've got it here, let's cut her neck out. So let's grab the lasso again. Cut up under her chin, just like we did with mine. It said, look, it took her ponytail. That's good. Now, usually the way you can fix this is if you go and you start way down here and come up in and then go at it it'll only select the one thing you want don't ask me exactly why but we know that kind of works so that's all good let's try to cut the part of her ponytail out here that doesn't really look like hair it looks like shoulders I guess which is gonna be difficult to do um, so let's go to select go to lasso Let's just come up in here, see what that does. Okay, I think we're getting there. We've definitely got this big chunk of her shoulder here, so let's select again. Uh, we'll start way down here, come up and kind of edge out roughly where her hair is. Check, and I think we're getting a lot closer. Let's make this solid. See how that goes? I think that looks pretty decent. Obviously, some more stuff's got to get cut out here. So we got this problem here. Um, let's hit accept and let's let's try to clean some of these little problem areas up. Um, actually, if you you know just to save time, I think we get the idea. I'm gonna leave that for you to be able to clean those up. You can use the brush to the lasso. See where that goes. We want to make sure we flatten the bottom of her neck. And she has a lot of uh, irregularities, which can be good and can be bad. I would suggest trying to smooth out these. We're going to smooth out these parts of her face a little bit. So I mean, we'll go to Sculpt. And we'll try some different things. I guess we'll start with Flatten. You know, just kind of going through and getting... Let's see, that didn't come out great. Um, maybe we'll try... I think there's a Smooth button up here, too. Let's go... Uh, Plate pinch spikes. We don't want to shrink it. Let's try bubble smooth. That seems to be working all right. You know, it's a lot of hit and miss, hit or miss. You know, let's get this little spiky down. Doesn't really need to be there. Uh, come through there. You know, the rest of it I think is just good detail. But smooth that over as quickly as we can. I think all that looks good. Um, and same thing, you know, I'm going to go through and I'm going to at some point, I'm going to clean up, like, she had a weird thing where she had her, her mouth half open and was showing her teeth, so between her lips looks a little weird. So I'm going to go through and change the size of this and see if we can make that look a little more natural, except I'm bubble smooth right now and I should be, um, I should be shrink smooth. So let's just try to zip in there. Looks better. You know, again... Time to play, go through, and see what you can do to make it look better. All right, when we move on to the next video, we'll start talking. We're going to do the same thing. You want to go through and you want to save this, so and you want to export it as, a, as an STL, uh, and then save it. But the next time we come back, we'll start talking about uh, scaling your head, and we'll talk about, um, geez, I can't remember what was the other thing we had to do. Uh, scaling your head and, oh, putting the hole in the bottom of it so that you can put the uh, spring into your head later. 
All right, well, good luck, and if you have any questions, come on up and ask.